In the annals of the Old West, few figures stand out like Dick Brewer. A man of formidable skill and unwavering determination, Brewer made his name in history as both a renowned gunfighter and a respected lawman. But it was his leadership of the Regulators during the tumultuous Lincoln County War that really cemented his place in the folklore of the Wild West. In this video, we delve into the life of Dick Brewer, unraveling the remarkable journey of a man who straddles the line between outlaw and defender of justice, who left an indelible mark on the history of the Old West. Remember to hit the like button because it helps us a lot. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to not miss the upcoming interesting videos. Richard M. Brewer is a gunman and lawman. He worked for John Tunstall as a leader of the administration during the Lincoln County War in New Mexico. Brewer was born on February 19, 1850 in St. Albans, Vermont. His family moved to Boas, Wisconsin when he was four years old. He then ventured to Missouri before making his way to Lincoln County. Initially attracted to farming, Brewer purchased a farm in the area, envisioning a prosperous future. However, in the spring of 1871, he began working for Lawrence Murphy, but soon left that job for unknown reasons. By 1876, Brewer had moved to work with cattle as a ranch manager for John Tunstall, a famous man who owned one of the largest ranches in the region. During that period, the economic and political scene of Lincoln County was tightly controlled by Lawrence Murphy and James Dolan, who owned L.G. Murphy & Co. This establishment, which eventually became James J. Dolan & Co., held the exclusive right to be the county's only store. Divisions in the community are largely based on ethnicity and religious denomination, with Murphy's faction consisting primarily of Irish Catholics, while Tunstall and his allies are predominantly Protestant British. Interestingly, L.G. Murphy & Co. have provided substantial loans to the governor of the territory, and the Attorney General of the Territory has even mortgaged the company. It was through this complex network of connections that Tunstall discovered Murphy and Dolan's advantageous position. They had won lucrative beef contracts with the U.S. government, supplied to the fortresses and agencies of the Indians. These government contracts, along with their monopoly on financial goods and services for farms and ranches, have allowed Murphy, Dolan, and their partner Riley to have amassed a huge fortune. The pivotal event that sparked the outbreak of the Lincoln County War revolved around a dispute over the allocation of Emil Fritz's insurance policy. Emil Fritz, a partner of L.G. Murphy, died in 1874, prompting the estate administrators to hire Alexander McSween to collect his insurance policy. When the money was received, however, McSween hesitated to hand it over to the executor of the state, suspecting that the House and opposition party might not honor their financial obligations. Aware of the House's precarious financial situation, McSween questioned their willingness to accept the money, regardless of the legitimacy of their claim. In February 1878, an unsuccessful trial resulted in a court order forfeiting all of McSween's assets, but confusing all of Tunstall's assets with those of McSween. Sheriff Brady organized an army to seize Sun Tunstall's remaining property, located on his ranch about 70 miles from Lincoln. Dolan also joined the John Kinney Gang, Seven Rivers Warriors and Jesse Evans Gang, preeminent engaged in harassing and herding cattle from the farms of Tunstall and Chisholm, and also became hired gunmen of this faction. In February of 18, 1878, tragedy struck when Tunstall was murdered. In response, a team was formed to track down the culprit, with Brewer selected to lead this determined group. The regulators have their roots in that team, which includes such infamous figures as Billy the Kid, Jose Chavez y Chavez. Brewer established friendships with Billy the Kid, Jose Chavez y Chavez, and the rest of Billy the Kid's gang, and he was often accompanied by gang members. In fact, Brewer was the first leader of the Regulators during the early stages of the Lincoln County War. With a mature and brave demeanor, he is respected by his colleagues and the rest of the team, leading them to accept him as their leader. 
Under Brewer's leadership, the regulators were implicated in a number of confirmed murders, including the murders of Sheriff William Brady, William Morton, and Deputy George W. Hinman, lawman Frank Baker, and the regulators' colleague William McCloskey, whom the regulatory authority reported betrayed them. While Brewer disagreed with the murders of Sheriff Brady and Deputy Hinman, but supported and participated in other murders. It is worth noting that although the public generally attributes most homicides during the time, the regulators existed to Billy the Kid. Many historians express doubt about his direct involvement as the main culprit in most of the cases. Instead, they agree that victims often collapse in gunfights when multiple members of the regulators open fire simultaneously. However, due to the notoriety of Billy the Kid, it was he who gained widespread recognition that ultimately fueled the regulators' brutal reputation. On April 4, 1878, Brewer led the regulators to Blazer's Mill, where they were confronted by one of the men for whom they had wanted warrant, Buckshot Roberts. Soon after, a fierce gunfight left five regulators injured and one dead, namely Brewer. Buckshot Roberts was also shot dead in the gunfight, either by a shot by either George Coe, whose finger was shot off by Roberts, or Charlie Bowder. In the end, Dick Brewer and Buckshot Roberts were buried near the large house where the gunfight took place. After Brewer's death, the regulators elected McNabb as their new captain to lead them forward. On April 29, 1878, a team led by Sheriff Pepin, consisting of members of the Jesse Evans gang and the Seven Rivers Warriors, engaged in a fierce gunfight with McNabb, Saunders, and Frank Coe at the Fritz Ranch. McNabb dies in the gunfight, Saunders is mortally wounded, and Frank Coe is captured. The next day, four members of the Seven Rivers, namely Tom Green, Charles Marshall, Jim Patterson, and John Galvin, were tragically killed in Lincoln. While the regulators have faced charges, specific evidence regarding their deaths has never been proven. Additionally, Frank Coe escaped from custody sometime after his arrest, allegedly with the assistance of Deputy Sheriff Wallace Ollinger, who gave him a pistol. After McNabb's death, the regulators quickly took up defensive positions in the town of Lincoln. They traded with the Dolans and were believed to be members of the U.S. Army Cavalry. During the confrontation, George Coe's rifle shot wound Dutch Charlie Kruling, a Dolan supporter. On May 15th, the regulators successfully found and arrested Manuel Segovia, a member of the notorious Jesse Evans gang. Segovia is believed to be responsible for the shooting that claimed McNabb's life. They shot him on the run. Then, the regulators added a new member, a young Texan cowboy named Tom O'Folliard, who quickly became McCarty's best friend. Please like and share if you find the video content interesting and useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment below so as not to miss the upcoming interesting videos. Thanks for watching.